Thank you to the sponsor for this video, Keen. Visit trykeen.com slash Nadia to get your first 10 minutes for only $1.99 with one of their trusted advisors. I too had a chance to try Keen when I was approached to have them as a sponsor. I loved my reading and I only recommend services I trust. Visit trykeen.com slash Nadia to get your first 10 minutes for only $1.99. Hello, fabulous friends, fans, and superstars. Welcome to your horoscope for the week of June 5th, 2022. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is a remarkable astrological week, without a doubt. Big moves happening in the sky now. And the really concentrated, important energy this week takes place as we navigate to the end of the week. And what that suggests is that a lot of us, as we are beginning this week, are feeling that something's about to shift something's about to change. Chances are we've already started feeling that. Think about late last week, we had Mercury going direct right along with Saturn going retrograde. And those two factors together on the one hand helped us to have epiphanies and clarity, especially mind level clarity to see how it is that we're thinking about a thing and to understand the information that's been presenting itself to us, but also inviting us to get reflective to understand our responsibilities to ourselves and how it is that perhaps taking a more mature approach allows and fortifies healthy self-respect. Now, as we begin this week, we're slowly moving towards Mercury trine Pluto. Now, this is a very important conversation as part of the larger Mercury retrograde season. So it was in the second part of April that Mercury went into shadow and very quickly aligned in supreme harmony with Pluto. Now, the first exact connection between Mercury and Pluto happened on April 28. And then Mercury went forward, mid-May went retro. And the second exact alignment between Mercury and Pluto took place on the 24th of May. And now, here we are. On Friday, we'll have the third and final alignment with Mercury recently direct. And this is a key characteristic as part of this larger dance of this recent Mercury retrograde season. And so for now, we've still got Mercury spending this part of the larger retrograde season in the sign of Taurus, asking us to look at what we value, what's worth putting our resources towards, what's worth doing for money, what isn't worth doing for money. Where is it now that we're ready to have a depth of understanding as to what healthy self-love looks like for us and how that might show up in different areas of life? How might we uniquely define prosperity for ourselves? Well, it is now that many of us are going to find some answers that we can be at peace with. Next week, when Mercury moves back into the sign of Gemini, as he begins to wrap up the larger Mercury retrograde season, though not quite yet, that's when we're going to take all it is that we're coming to understand now, and especially with Mercury trine Pluto, the clarity and the decisions we make as a result of the clarity now are going to lend themselves to different ways in which we may express ourselves. How it is that we're going to communicate this new understanding of self-value, self-love, and self-esteem. Well, that is yet to find us, but at least for now, we're connecting with the conviction and we're connecting with the feeling. The conviction of knowing that you are worthy of speaking your truth, of being yourself, of asking for what you want, whether it's from the people in your life or whether it's from the universe, being so deeply connected to self-value that the universe can't help but respond in kind is part of the energy of this time. But also I feel like Mercury trying Pluto, this is also about a decision that we're making and where it is that decision is rooted in Taurian understandings, abundance, how we uniquely define abundance, self-esteem, ensuring that it's rooted in love. Well, that really is where we're able to gain that much more power and that much more purpose moving forward from here. But here's the thing, the energy of Mercury trying Pluto, it has a strategic element to it. It can be quite calculated in a good way in that it helps us to deeply examine what it is that we have to say, what it is that we want to do as part of reaching the most effective decision for us. But we have another energy happening almost simultaneously and it perfects on Saturday. 
Now, this is huge. Uh, this is what some call the most shocking day in love of the year. I certainly would call it that. This is Venus conjunct Uranus. This is very powerful energy, really big energy as well. Whatever you think is going to be happening where it comes to love, where it comes to money, it really will not. Whatever you think is going to happen in terms of your unique celebration of your unique beauty, it really could go in very surprising directions. Now, this energy is great where it is that you want to be a rebel and you want to cultivate that energy of rebellion. Well, this energy can work to your regard. But the thing is, it's a very independent energy. It's iconoclast. It is minimalistic as well. It is not materialistic, right? And it isn't so much given to indulgences. And so we need to be mindful of that. I would say if you find yourself with this very surprising urge uh, to go for a completely different wardrobe, that's fine, but don't throw out the one that you have. And you know, if you've been watching me for a while, you know I like to say it's just hair, enjoy yourself. And that's great. But if you find yourself really, really inspired in an instant, to go for something very different that's very hard to change back or change into something else, that's where you may want to take a little bit of a pause with energy like this. Because whatever you think the outcomes are going to be, chances are they may end up being something very different. And that includes in love as well, of course, because this is Venus, goddess of love. And I think a lot of us are going to be feeling like we're sure what it is we want, whom it is that we want, and in an instant may change our minds. We may think we're on a certain trajectory with a certain person and in an instant realize who this person really is or what's really going on here. Just when we think we know what we really feel for another, we may get a whole other perspective, see them very differently. I see this energy as one of extremes. And what that means is things could be extremely amazing, extremely good, or extremely not. <laughs> Things can go in a direction where we really hadn't anticipated and we realize some uncomfortable truths about this person, but also about ourselves as well. Now, where it is that perhaps we're tapping into part of that Mercury retrograde season, I think for some of us, there's going to be this ongoing understanding, especially reaching back into April, where self-love shows up in our experience and this is ultimately helping us to focus our minds grounded in self-respect but with venus conjunct uranus even though that's happening in the sign of taurus still guided by self-value self-love self-esteem it's also a chance to see things very differently whereas mercury trine pluto is deeply grounding and as it is grounded in a, a truth about the self, in an authenticity about the self, with Uranus, though, the energy is so different. Venus meeting Uranus is the big reveal that you didn't anticipate, that you didn't expect. It is that flash of recognition that makes everything seem different, including what it is that you want in your heart, what it is that you want in love. And where it comes to love, a lot of us might run what's called hot and cold in an instant, maybe. And so where it was that perhaps a certain situation seemed really promising, we may change our minds in an instant or other people might as well. You know, the real gift of Venus conjunct Uranus is that, yes, it is revealing, but it also fuels healthy detachment as well. Other people are going to do all kinds of things and make all kinds of decisions that on the surface seem like they are about us, but they're really not. It has to do with all the experiences that they're bringing to this particular moment of interaction with you. It has to do with their deeper motivations. Some of them, some of those motivations, they're not even conscious of. And yet in the moment, it may seem like they're making a choice or taking an action, and it may seem like it has to personally do with you but it really doesn't. And ultimately, all actions, all inspirations can be a gift. You know, as Maya Angelou very famously says, when people show you who they are, believe them. I think a lot of us out there are going to be very clear about who we are. To ourselves, certainly, but to others as well. In love, certainly. But also in other ways as well. In terms of self-love, in terms of how we understand prosperity. But where it comes to romantic love, this is the time to believe other people 
and to believe yourself as well, to believe what it is that you really feel, what it is you're really wanting in a given situation, and to be honest with yourself as to whether or not this person can match that, can meet you there. With this energy, surprise opportunities to connect with others could just show up. Very surprising attractions to other people and also who may be attracted to us. Well, that can be part of the big reveal now. The thing to also remember here is that romantic surprises do not go as planned. They really can have the almost exact opposite effect of the intention. And so when we have big energies like this involving big planets like Uranus, even we could say with Pluto as well, when we have big energies like this, it does suggest surrender, going with the flow, allowing the universe to reveal some higher wisdom, some higher understanding to us because these planets will not be controlled and they will not allow control to take place. It's like these big planets, these outer planets, I should say, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. They can be energies that feel very faded. They can represent energies that are forces larger than ourselves and forces that ultimately can shape us in very powerful ways, but they have a will of their own. And our power comes when we allow, when we surrender, when we know that sometimes there are changes planned that are greater than anything we could have planned for ourselves. And it is up to us to decide that we are going to choose to see the wisdom, even if it feels challenging. And so Venus conjunct Uranus can go to extremes. It can go to either direction. <laughs> we may really, really like the outcomes. We might really, really not. But the way in which we maximize the potential is to allow whatever truth about love and where we are in love and why and where we are with money and where we are with self-love to allow it to be revealed in its own time, in its own space. That is truly how we end up nourishing ourselves and strengthening ourselves that much more for the better. One way I like to understand Venus-Uranus connections is very rooted in a book that I read many, many years ago. Like we're going back to the 90s. It was a big bestseller back in the day. And it's called The Seat of the Soul by Gary Zukov. Now, this book really changed so much for me. It awakened a spiritual desire in me uh, that was very profound at the time. And I really feel like it put me on a whole other trajectory in my life. And once I became a full-time astrologer, especially in the first years of my practice when I was doing consultations at my kitchen table in downtown Toronto, I remember that whenever I would pass by like used bookstores, I would go in and look for copies of this book because I like to keep several of them on hand because I knew that when I saw clients, I wanted to give them copies of this book because very often when they came in and they were having a Uranus transit in particular or a Pluto transit or a Neptune transit, but especially those Uranus transits, they could use the wisdom that was in this book. And so this book centers around, well, many things, but it talks about authenticity. It talks about evolution, the evolution of the soul as well. There's one chapter, actually it's two chapters in the book called Spiritual Partnerships. So Spiritual Partnership 1 and Spiritual Partnership 2. And then later on, Gary Zukov used those chapters um, as a stepping off point for a separate book that wasn't nearly as popular. But that book was rooted in exploring what spiritual partnerships actually are. And when you really get down to it, what he's saying is mutual respect. That's what spiritual partnership is. It's recognizing that this person is their own individual on their own path towards their spiritual evolution, their journey towards higher consciousness, what I call their journey towards greater love and greater wisdom, and that you can be there as a partner to be part of facilitating some of their personal realizations, but you are not responsible for their journey. And it is completely up to a person to decide how they're going to embrace their unique journey towards their personal evolution. Spiritual partnerships allow agency and independence, but also have a sense of connection, of mutual understanding of being on the same page as to what both are wanting. And that in turn allows for healthy communication and a healthy fostering of all the different ways in which people might grow together or might at times be growing in their own separate ways, 
but still connected through their mutual respect of each other. The higher understanding of Venus conjunct Uranus is wanting, aiming for, yearning for in some cases, aligning with relationships that have mutual respect as a key characteristic within them. And if we have that, well, this is where that respect grows stronger. This is where we're able to recognize the agency of the individuals involved in this spiritual partnership. This can also be where we may be more likely to attract or want to attract partnerships that are rooted in mutual respect. But also with this, if we attract a situation or find ourselves in a situation where that isn't there, that just isn't going to work for us. With Uranus, I also think of this as energy that can be conceptualized as ripping off a Band-Aid, right? When you know, you know. When you're ready, you're ready. And sometimes even when you're not, when you're done, you're done. If you're all in, you are immersed. But if you know that whatever alliance in your life, whether it is a situation where you're just hanging out with somebody, whether it's a situation where it's uh, more intimate than that, more emotional than that, more committed than that, where it is that you are in a situation that fosters healthy, mutual self-respect, mutual respect among two people, in an instant, that love can grow so much stronger under a sky like this. But where it is that that isn't the case, we're able to recognize it and in an instant go in a different direction. What I love about this week for us, well, I love the energy of authenticity. That's the thing when we've got Pluto and when we've got Uranus. Now, Pluto has its own type of authenticity. It is profound. It is far reaching. It is deep. It is honest. It is brave in that it is willing to face those things that sometimes we want to deny are part of our reality or part of whom it is that we are. But the truth of Uranus, the freedom of Uranus, the authenticity of Uranus comes through inspiration. It comes through genius. It comes through sparks and flashes of insight and epiphanies that change everything in an instant. In this case, with a week like this, our understanding of love, self-love and romantic love as well, well, chances are in an instant we'll see it very differently. And also recognize where it exists in our lives. Recognize where it is that we can magnify it in our lives, thereby experiencing authentic love for self and for others that much more. Well, thank you so much for watching. What do you love about this week? Let me know in the comments below. I love reading you guys. And to prove it to you, here are some of my most recent favorite comments. Thank you to everybody who likes, who comments, who subscribes, who shares, who thumbs up. All of it means so much. I'm truly so grateful for each and every one of you. Thank you. And of course, if you want to know how all this very powerful sky speaks to you in your sign, log on to NadiaShawSuperstars.com where you get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week for each and every sign for as low as just $3 a month would we'll choose your membership rate. Now higher tiers get you things like all access passes to Synchronicity University events, consultations with me and so much more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there at NadiaShawSuperstars.com. Link is in the description below. YouTube for astrologers with the world renowned Kepler College. Gosh, it is such a privilege to be part of the faculty at this world renowned institute. I'm so proud of my participation with Kepler College. And I have a class that I teach with them only once a year and only in the summer. And that is my only business class that I teach. And so we call it YouTube for astrologers, but it is not just about YouTube and it is not just for astrologers. It really is for anybody who has a spiritually oriented, spiritually rooted business. And they want to understand the more entrepreneurial side of sharing what it is that they do. They want to tap into different types of social media, including YouTube and other types of social media as well. And so this course is really comprehensive. I mean, we do everything from um, helping you to understand your unique style of advertising, of presenting what you do. We help you to choose a date, or rather I help you to choose a date, because a big part of this course is the mentorship aspect. 
It is very interactive in person, but also there are homework assignments. You get lots of feedback as well. And you become part of a private Facebook group as well, where we get to interact and support each other. And so, yes, you get to see your chart from that entrepreneurial perspective to understand your style. Choose the best date for launching your business or launching your next endeavor. And then we go through what makes an effective video. We get to look at each other's video for healthy feedback. Then we look at the business side, like the last two classes are spent really exploring um, how to understand prosperity, whether that's personally, but really practically as well. So you really get to see behind the curtain. You get to see all the nitty gritty of what I do. Um, you get to see how much money I make on YouTube, all of that stuff, and all the different ways in which we can understand sharing what it is that we do and rooting ourselves in a spirit of prosperity the practical and the personal as well. So again, this is the only business class I teach. I'm so grateful for so many of you out there who find uh, the platform that I've built to be inspiring. It wouldn't be possible without you, but it's also one of the reasons why, like especially over the last couple of years, I've said yes to more sponsors because I feel like these are ways in which I get to inspire more people. I get to show you that um, this can be a way in which you can support yourself and those whom you love. Now, sometimes I do share a fact that my mom doesn't really like that I share this, but it's the truth. And I'll tell you, I've been a full-time astrologer now for almost 16 years. And the first seven years of my business, I lived below the poverty line in Canada. And I think that you shouldn't have to. I hope that you shouldn't have to. Um, I find it amazing that I did. Um, but really the fact that I could go through that and build a business now that has five employees that reaches so many people, um, that teaches people around the world, all of that has so many different branches. I, I just feel so blessed to have had the opportunity. Um, I really believe that self-actualization is a privilege that not everybody gets to have on this planet. And the fact that I had that privilege, the fact that I get to continue to align with it and live it and continue to grow. It is a great privilege and you make that possible. So thank you. I thank you so much. But yes, if you want to learn uh, and get those insights to understand what it means to have your own spiritually oriented business as an astrologer or otherwise, then this may be the course for you. Now, enrollment is very limited because we try to keep the class sizes small enough because it takes a lot of energy. It takes a lot of time. Like I said, mentorship is a key part of it. And so if you want to join us and classes start in about a month, um, this would be the time to sign up. Lots of people who have taken this have said how much it meant to them, how it really helped them to get started, to strengthen their business or to really motivate them to share more broadly and to um, really nurture their own entrepreneurial spirit in the process as well. You know, I'm very much of the belief that in our modern world, and especially since we had uh, in the last decade, if you remember, we had Uranus and Aries squaring uh, Pluto and Capricorn. And that was an extended period of time that we experienced for about five years as a collective in one form or another. And I remember at the time before that aspect even started, I said, this is going to be the end of the gatekeepers. What we're going to see is lots of mini empires popping up all over the world. And at the time, I didn't realize that YouTube would be one of these big driving forces that allows that to happen. That really is how it came together. And I think that's really powerful to consider that this becomes a tool that allows people to create something in alignment with your own vision, with your own purpose, with your own calling as you understand it. Um, and it can be so deeply meaningful just to trust yourself and be yourself and to create something that you can be proud of and to use these different tools as part of that. And so if I can facilitate some of that for you, that is such a privilege to me as well. And so, yes, you creating your own mini empire and the fact that I get to see my previous students who took this course creating their own mini empires, well, it just 
gives me such joy. It just feels like such a privilege to be able to facilitate some of that in other people. So I hope that you'll check that out. You can learn a lot more about this course, this unique course that I teach only once a year at the world-renowned Institute Kepler College at the link in the description below. Remember, enrollment is very, very limited, but check out keplercollege.org, learn more and sign up there. I look forward to meeting you in class. And I wanna take a moment to shout out the fantastic sponsor of this video scope, and that is trykeen.com slash Nadia. So at Keen, they have these trusted advisors and you can go online and you can speak to a live person right away. And as you speak to this person, you're able to get guidance into your own life. Now, they've got all kinds of readers there, tarot readers, psychics, and so much more. And so whatever it is that you're looking for, you may be able to find it there. Now, if you visit trykeen.com slash Nadia, you get your first 10 minutes for only $1.99. So that's trykeen.com slash Nadia. Link is in the description below. And again, Thank you to Keen for being one of my sponsors. I'm so grateful for it. Synchronicity University has some incredible events coming up this July only at synchronicityuniversity.com. Now keep in mind, of course, we have the very famous Choose Your Tuition Rate. We really are known for this and I'm so proud of this, making quality astrological education with truly brilliant astrologers and big dog astrologers making it accessible to the masses well this really is a vision come true and i'm so grateful to each and every one of you who has participated at synchronicity university events because you allow this program to continue for more and more people to be able to access quality astrological education and so at synchronicityuniversity.com this july we have two very big events taking place that are choose your tuition rate right now for as low as just five dollars a class the first that i want to tell you about is the july speaker series this is going to be a very big deal so you've got about four weeks left or so as we start this week to choose your tuition rate it is limited time but you are going to get to learn from five of the most brilliant astrologers and people that i really love and people whose astrological wisdom has blessed me in one way or another and i'm really looking forward to sharing them with you one is superstar big dog astrologer christopher renstrom now christopher renstrom is going to be teaching about chiron in the astrology chart we are going to have my friend someone who's actually been a spiritual advisor to me who i love so much her name is christina divina and she is going to be teaching on neptune in astrology another one of my friends clarissa dolphin another person i love so much she's going to be bringing this wonderful perspective by looking at the south node in the astrology chart there's so much attention spent on the north node and i mean look one of my books the universe is wise and loving really focuses in on the north node this is a very glamorous big deal point in the chart that sometimes we forget there's a south node as well that is powerfully symbolic so i love that she's going to be exploring that with us here we are going to have janae anthony now janae anthony i saw her on stormy grace's youtube academy and i loved what she was teaching and how she was teaching it and she just seemed so brilliant so i'm so happy to have her at my school now and she's going to be looking at a comprehensive look at sex and astrology and in the astrology chart and she's going to do that in 90 minutes how i don't know but i'm looking forward to finding out i think it's going to be brilliant and also we have alexis duong now alexis is so brilliant she's a nerd like me and her talk is going to be focused on you know how to be an astrologer how to stay positive when you think that the world sucks right when you see things that are nihilistic or really painful in the world how do you continue to look at the chart to explore love and wisdom now that's my language to understand what she's going to be teaching but I know she's so brilliant and it's going to be so much fun as well. So I hope that you will check out the July speaker series only at synchronicityuniversity.com. Remember, choose your tuition rate is on for a very limited time, just a couple of weeks left in that. And you can learn more about these talks and sign up now. Link is in the description below. Synchronicity University presents the one and only Mark Lawrenson, massive big dog astrologer, principal at the Sydney School of Astrology. Well, he is coming to Synchronicity University and teaching a very special course that already is proving to be very popular. 
And this is the soul's mission in the birth chart. I know lots of people are going to be interested in this, and he's the perfect person to teach this class. And so this particular class, the soul's mission in the birth chart, it's a five week course. It is choose your tuition rate on right now, only till the end of the month, as low as just $5 a class, which is such an unheard of rate to learn from Mark Lawrenson, <laughs> like the quality of Mark Lawrenson. Yes, but also Mark Lawrenson himself, um, just really such a force of astrology, especially in Australia. So I feel so grateful that he is going to be coming to Synchronicity University. I know every time I've spoken to him, which has just been a handful of times, but every time I've spoken to him, I come away a better astrologer. That's how good he is and how he understands the soul's mission and the soul's intention in the birth chart. So I hope that you will check out his class. It is a five week course and he'll be taking you through looking at the the chart in a whole new way that perhaps you hadn't before and having a depth of appreciation of those things in your chart that maybe you cursed, maybe you hated, maybe, you know, you hated that square and you thought it sucked. Well, he'll have you looking at that square very differently to see its love, to see its wisdom and to see how even that thing in your chart that you don't like is part of how it is that you might fulfill your soul's mission in this lifetime. This is a very powerful class. I hope that you will check it out by a very special teacher, Mark Lawrenson. Choose your tuition rate on right now for a very limited time at synchronicityuniversity.com. Link is in the description below. And I do want to say a very special thank you. Thank you so much to all of you who've been following me on social media, who've been joining me there. Lots of new people on Instagram, uh, my TikTok as well. I mean, I just really launched it like a couple of weeks ago. And so it's really exciting to see how my TikTok is reaching people as well. Now, I just find it so much fun. Like really in my downtime, I'm making these little videos. I'm posting them on YouTube as shorts, but also posting them on TikTok, posting them on Instagram Reels. So thank you for the wonderful feedback. Thank you for all the new people who've been finding me through these other platforms and welcome to my YouTube channel as well. And just thank you for the love and support and encouragement and also for your trust of my interpretation of the sky. And so links are below. Follow me online on social media, TikTok, Instagram. But of course, you get the shorts here as well. So I hope that you enjoy them. And thank you. Thank you so much for this moment with you. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I'm truly so grateful for it. And just know that I appreciate you, all of our interactions. And even if you're not somebody who's inclined to interact, just you being here, that means so much to me as well. So thank you. And thank you again for watching. It'll be a great week. Enjoy. Welcome to the exciting rebirth of Superstar featuring choose your membership rate as low as just $3 a month. At Superstar, you get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes, class passes for Synchronicity University, consultations with me, and so much more. All of this in the Superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there.